Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I want to be clear here in this video because a lot of people are on the impression that by bypassing the TPM check and the Intel CPU check that you're in the clear and you're all right. Um, I did show yesterday a video with uh, the little trick that you can upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Once again, people are coming back to me saying, well, I still don't see it in Windows Update. It's not there that you see it. If you do that hack in the registry, you have to go to the download page that I have the linked in the description on that video. You have to upgrade using the media tool. That's how you upgrade when you do that hack. Now, there's other tricks. Some people have seen other tricks. But one thing that I will say here is that you're not bypassing or cheating on Windows. Microsoft left that loophole there, but warns you that you're unsupported and that whatever happens is not their problem. That security updates might not happen on your machine, that regular updates might not happen if bug fixes or anything. You might simply be stuck using something that isn't going to work well because of lack of updates and even security. And they do mention security even in that uh, window that says, you know, uh, you're not going to get, it's possible you're not getting security updates. That just tells you that if you decide to do it, you haven't won anything. You haven't, you know, I see these posts of, well, you know, I did that trick and now I have it. You know, Microsoft, uh, you know, we bypass everything. <laughs> You're not at all. You're just unsupported state on Windows 11. That's why, personally, I don't think it should be done unless you just want to have, a f you know, fun with maybe a PC lying around that's you know, not doing much and you want to see Windows 11 because you can't have it maybe on some of your machines and you want to play with it. It's fine. That, you know, why not? But... Any unsupported machine that is a main computer that you're using every day, it's a really bad idea to go to Windows 11 in an unsupported state. A lot of you see it as, oh, well, you know, well, it works. Everything works. I don't see what's the problem. Everything is working. Yeah. Uh, until it stops working. And that is something that you got to be aware of. Maybe you'll get the updates for the next year. Maybe not. Maybe one month. Maybe six months. That's Microsoft that's going to decide where it stops. And at some point it will stop. So just be warned. You're not, you know, you're not winning. You're not, uh, uh, a lot of you are posting and like, you know, well, you know, I won. I've bypassed all of that. No, you haven't. You're unsupported state and Microsoft knows it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.